Hey, we just finished the Apres Nation podcast, but I want to give you guys a really quick thought on working leads, okay? I was just training an agency from Tulsa. They had 12 agents in the room. I was training them, okay, live over the phone. What we were talking about is how I truly believe that every lead is an opportunity to sit with someone. Every lead wants help. Every lead is interested, whether they say they're interested or whether they say they're not. Okay? So when you get a lead, I believe you can set an appointment and go see every single one of them. When they say they're not interested, they don't mean it because they already responded. When they say that they're broke, well, you don't know until you get there because they don't know how much it costs. Okay? When they say that they're busy, they, would have, they wouldn't have answered the phone right? if they were busy. If their daughter would have called, do you think they'd be talking to their daughter? That's psychology. Okay? They're, if they say I already own insurance, wonderful. You're not there to change something. You're simply there to help, maybe just drop off information, maybe add on, maybe you have something better. You do not know, like the point is to get in front of them. If you don't keep control of the call, if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't read the script right, if you don't do what I do on video when I'm calling leads, you will not get the return that you should. I am the, I, I'm so confident about my ability to work leads that I believe that I can get a return on investment from any lead that I generate ever. Okay, and probably even a lot of vendors, even though I don't think that they do as good a job of us, I still believe I could probably get a return on theirs too because I know what I'm doing. I'm not pausing. I'm not allowing people to take control of the call. I'm not allowing people to give objection. I'm not allowing people to lie to me because I am in charge and in control. I also believe if you're a new agent and you're struggling on the phone and you're struggling to get a return and you're struggling with leads, number one, you should never buy 10 leads. 10 leads you're asking to fail. It's stupid, okay? Just don't do it, right? It's, it's such a small sample size. It, you can't judge a vendor on 10 leads. You can't judge a return and consistency and long-term results off a of 10 lead. You just can't. Also though, new agents should door knock leads. This is a challenge to you. If you struggle on the phone, if, if you've called six times, because you should always call every lead six times in the first 72 hours and you can't get a hold of them, go uh, door knock them. Even if they tell you no on the phone, they're not interested, still door knock them. Even if you can't get a hold of them, still door knock them. Even if they text you back and say, don't call me again, door knock them, right? You need to be door knocking. New agents, that's the easiest way to get in front of people and get good at face-to-face -face sales. I know a ton of Spanish final expense agencies that all they do is door knock and they door knock like 140 times a week. Show up, wake up, and start doing whatever you can to get a return on investment. That includes not listening to excuses and objections. That includes keeping control. That includes going six calls. That includes going 12 touches. That includes calling them within five minutes. Speed is key. And that also includes door knocking, right? So whatever you can do to get a return, I believe that I can make money from any leads. Every lead that, every, every batch of leads that someone's ever complained about that's bought from us, and that doesn't happen much, but when it does, I could have made money. You can't stop me. Uh, Can't stop, won't stop. Where the brakes at? I give him that ditty bop. Like, take that, take that, take that, take that. I'ma put it in work.